Tesla has identified and resolved the bottleneck issue in the 4680 battery production, aiming to reduce production costs by up to 20% compared to current suppliers. The 4680 battery, get this, has the capability to support over a thousand Cybertrucks every week, and that hits 50% growth and it cuts wait times. If this is successful, 4680 batteries are going to become the lowest cost domestically produced battery in the States. How has Tesla addressed the 4680? 680 battery issue to create a significant shock industry wide. What challenges is the 4680 battery facing at the moment? Earlier, Tesla's 4680 faced significant criticism, partly due to Tesla's bold claims. They had acquired dry cathode technology from Maxwell Technologies for nearly $320 million. Initially, the technology didn't work, meaning that Tesla spent years trying to make it work. However, they eventually attained success a couple weeks back, or around a month ago. Media reports suggested that LG Chem had beaten Tesla out in dry cathode production. But I don't recall whether it was either LG Chem, maybe it was Panasonic, or it could have been Samsung. Reading the news, we found it pretty funny because LG Chem, Samsung, and Panasonic have not yet started making those dry cathode batteries. Media likes to report inaccurately, fake news anyone, so you can't really rely on them to get the full scoop. Currently in the Cybertruck, the battery energy density is at 256 watt hours of kg, and that's a big time improvement over the first generation battery, but still lower than the estimated density of Panasonic's 2170 that's being used right now in Tesla's Model Y. The previously mentioned 54% range increase is directly related to the improvement in energy density, not only at the cell level, but also at the pack level. Specifically, 40% of this increase comes from improvements in the battery's energy density. Density. The remaining 14% relates to the integration of the cells into the vehicle. Although 2170 battery technology has improved since 2019, we think that Tesla's got the potential to hit around 300 watt hours a kilogram for the next generation of batteries. One major way Tesla could achieve this is by incorporating more silicon into the battery's anode. Tesla recently filed a patent related to enhancing the 4680 by adding silicon to the anode, although silicon could cause issues with expansion and cracking the anode material. This could lead to faster charging and higher energy density, but might impact battery longevity. Some new tech, such as the highly elastic binders and new electrode designs, could help address this issue. According to a report by James Ma on X, the second gen 4680 battery in Model Y has a small amount of silicon in the anode, and that shows an improvement from the first generation battery. Some Model Y vehicles made in Austin still feature the 4680 battery, though with changes in the cathode chemistry and anode, the Gen 2 version of 4680 battery uses NCMA chemistry with a composition of 82% nickel, 11% cobalt, 5% manganese, 3% aluminum, whereas Gen 1 did have higher nickel and aluminum content. And lower cobalt. The battery's anode is made using natural materials with a bit of silicon similar to Gen 1 to enhance battery performance by increasing safety and improving overall efficiency. If Gen 2 had significantly improved over Gen 1, this full version will be even better. In fact, Tesla has not yet begun producing 4680 batteries with dry cathodes. They produced and tested these cells for about a week on the Cybertruck. The company has initiated testing of their vehicle with 4680 batteries featuring dry cathodes. Cybertruck's battery cells indeed contain a small amount of silicon in their anodes, and Tesla has mentioned the potential to increase the battery range by 20% due to the integration of silicon in the 4680 battery anode. This could be a major breakthrough of Tesla's prediction. Come true. A recent Tesla patent describes the method for multi layer electrode films, where the main issue is the poor adhesion of the active material layer, like graphite, to the metal foil, leading to electrical loss and reduced storage capacity. Silicon, despite its high energy density, encounters issues with volumetric expansion during battery cycles, and that makes it challenging to get that long term performance. This patent proposes a multi layer approach. With a silicon rich layer in the middle and higher adhesion layers on the top and bottom to maintain the stability of the active electrode structure, and that improves connectivity and minimizes separation inside the battery. However, traditional wet processes do not support the multi layer design as easily as Tesla's dry process. Wet film formation processes, including spraying, slot die coating, extrusion, and printing, can limit the ability to combine active layers and face challenges in achieving uniform material dispersion.
Additionally, wet processes are often costly and require time-consuming drying steps, and that can be problematic as the electrode film gets thicker, leading to limitations in the thickness of films produced using wet processes. How has Tesla thoroughly resolved the issues with the 4680 battery? Reports have come out that Tesla's new dry electrode process has finally resolved the issue and could increase the energy density of the 4680. According to sources over in China, if energy density increases by 20%, the 4680 battery becomes the highest energy density battery worldwide and could be produced at scale. Currently, dry cathode technology is not available to automakers, but this means Tesla's production costs for Cybertruck are going to go down and its range will go up substantially. Tesla has finally addressed the issue with a 4680 battery that they face with dry cathode technology. So, what does all this mean? Tesla introduced the first dry cathode for the Cybertruck in July and began testing vehicles with their self-produced 4680 dry cathode batteries. This is a big-time milestone in improving technology and cost efficiency. However, we do remain surprised that it took longer than expected. We don't understand why it actually took years to complete. This means that the battery will be much cheaper for Tesla to make. The major difference between dry and wet cathodes is production cost. And we know you're curious about why dry cathode technology is important for Tesla's batteries. First, let's consider the production costs. Traditional wet cathode technology requires the use of organic solvents such as NMP during production. After the cathode materials are mixed with the solvent, the mixture must undergo a drying process in large ovens to remove the solvent before the cathode layers are cut and then rolled. This process is energy intensive and costly, with solvent and drying costs estimated to account for about 5 to 15 percent of the total production cost of lithium ion batteries. In contrast, the dry cathode technology being developed by Tesla and other companies eliminates the need for solvents in drying processes. The cathode materials are directly mixed into a dry powder layer, which is then pressed and rolled without drying, significantly cutting production costs by up to 20 to 30 percent compared to traditional wet cathode technology. In addition to cost reduction, dry cathode technology has the potential to improve production efficiency. By eliminating the drying process, production time gets shortened when that speeds up manufacturing. This is particularly important for Tesla as the company scales up 4680 battery production to, to meet the growing demand. Moreover, removing NMP solvents not only saves costs but also improves the air quality in the factory and reduces waste disposal costs, as NMP is a hazardous substance that has to be handled carefully. The use of NMP in wet cathode technology is not only expensive but also has negative environmental impacts. NMP is an air and water pollutant requiring pollution control and waste disposal measures, which adds to the cost and environmental impact. On the other hand, dry cathode technology, by eliminating the need for solvents and drying processes, significantly cuts carbon emissions and energy consumption in battery production. This aligns with Tesla's goal of reducing the environmental impact in its products and production processes. In practice, when Tesla acquired Maxwell Technologies back in 2019, a company specializing in dry electrode technology, it demonstrated Tesla's serious commitment to developing and implementing this technology. Elon mentioned that adopting dry cathode technology is a key part of Tesla's strategy to make cheaper and higher capacity batteries for its EVs. While Tesla's electric trucks are currently being delivered, they don't feature dry cathodes. These batteries are not inferior products, but they are more expensive for Tesla to make. A report from a Chinese publication indicates that the 4680 batteries used in Cybertruck's production currently have a cathode produced using Tesla's dry electrode process and then an anode sourced from a supplier. This means Tesla no longer has to buy anodes from suppliers but can make them using their own dry electrode process, and that significantly cuts down on production costs. It's estimated that those production costs will decrease by around 10 to 15 percent, which, while not substantial, is still something. If Tesla can incorporate more manganese or silicone into their batteries, energy density will increase. Reports from sources familiar with the issue indicate that Tesla is aiming to start mass production of complete 4680 batteries by the end of the year, with both anode and cathode produced using the dry electrode process. This could increase energy density, although the exact amount is yet to be determined. 
Some sources suggest this could increase the energy density of the 4680 battery by 20%. If that's true, Tesla could improve the range of Cybertruck to around 400 miles, and that's a game changer. This means Tesla could use a much smaller battery pack than its competitors while still achieving the same range, reducing costs per vehicle and maintaining a significant advantage in electric vehicle production. Stay tuned and see if this holds true, and let me know what you think in the comments. What is the impact of reducing the production costs of the 4680 battery on Tesla vehicle prices? Reducing the production cost of the 4680 could have profound impacts on Tesla's vehicle pricing and the company's financial performance. 4680 is an advanced battery technology that Tesla is adopting to improve performance and reduce the cost of electric vehicle production. In the context of increasing competition in the EV industry, lowering battery production costs could offer significant benefits to Tesla, not only in terms of pricing but also also in competitiveness and profitability. First, reducing the cost of making 4680 batteries could lead to a decrease in the retail price of Tesla models. Yes, please. According to projections, if battery production costs are cut by 30% from 100 kilowatt hours to $70 a kilowatt hour, each vehicle using a 100 kilowatt hour battery could save around three grand just from the reduction in battery costs. Given that batteries account for 30 to 40 percent of the total cost of making an EV, this cut could lower the overall production cost of a vehicle by up to 10 percent. This means the production cost of a Tesla Model 3 could go down from about $35,000 to $30,000, and that's equating to a savings of about five grand a vehicle. Reducing battery production costs could also enable Tesla to lower the retail price of its vehicles, making its models more attractive to consumers. If Tesla does indeed decide to reduce the price of the Model 3 from its current level of $39,900 to about $34,490, this could not only attract more customers but also potentially increase sales by 15 to 25 percent. A lower retail price could create a positive shock in the market, helping Tesla expand its market share and strengthen its presence in the mid-range electric vehicle segment. On the other hand, if Tesla chooses not to alter the retail price and keeps vehicle prices as they are, cutting production costs could also provide other benefits. The savings from reduced battery costs could enhance the profit margin on each vehicle, giving the company additional capital to invest in research and development of new technologies. Tesla could use the savings to expand production lines, research new battery technologies, or develop new vehicle models. This could help the company maintain its competitive edge and lead the electric vehicle industry. Overall, reducing the production cost of the 4680 battery could provide multiple benefits for Tesla. First is the potential to lower the retail price of vehicles, making them more attractive and boosting sales. Second is the increased profit margin per vehicle if retail prices stay unchanged, allowing the company to invest further in technology and product development. These impacts could not only improve Tesla's financial performance, but also strengthen the company's competitive position in the EV industry, providing long-term benefits for both the company and us consumers. What improvements have been made at Tesla's 4680 battery manufacturing plants? Tesla's approach to boosting 4680 cell production involves a multifaceted strategy focusing on significantly expanding gigafactory facilities and optimizing the production process. This comprehensive effort is evident through the development and expansion of key production sites, notably Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin, as well as the implementation of advanced technologies to streamline the process. Tesla's expanded its Gigafactory facilities to enhance 4680 cell production. Gigafactory Texas, the cornerstone of this expansion, spans approximately 2,500 acres, making it one of Tesla's biggest and most advanced production sites. The facility is designed with a vast production area of about 10 million square feet, featuring numerous production lines dedicated exclusively to 4680 cells. The site represents a major step forward in increasing production capacity and includes advanced automation and robotic systems to streamline the production process. By early 2024, Gigafactory Texas is expected to achieve an impressive annual production capacity of 100 gigawatt hours for 4680 cells. Recent upgrades include the installation of high-speed electrode coating machines, which help accelerate production speed and consistency, reduce production time, and improve overall efficiency. Regarding Gigafactory Berlin, this facility is strategically positioned to serve the European market and is equipped with advanced manufacturing technologies. By the end of 20 
2024, Gigafactory Berlin aims to produce 50 gigawatt hours of 4680 cells annually. This ambitious goal reflects Tesla's commitment to meeting the increasing demand for high performance batteries in Europe. The factory combines advanced European manufacturing standards and is equipped with automated systems to ensure high quality production. Tesla's focus on optimizing the production process is a crucial component in boosting 4680 cell output. Data analysis and AI play a key role in this optimization effort. Data analysis is vital for monitoring and refining the production process. By tracking machine performance, raw material quality, and production line efficiency, Tesla can identify bottlenecks, anticipate potential issues, and implement corrective measures quickly. Predictive maintenance driven by historical data and real-time metrics helps minimize downtime and ensures continuous production. This proactive approach allows Tesla to address problems before they escalate, maintain smooth operations, and reduce production disruptions. Quality control is another important area where data analysis contributes to optimization. Advanced data analysis enables early detection of defects and ensures high standards for cell quality. By analyzing data from various production stages, Tesla can identify patterns and anomalies that may indicate quality issues. This allows for timely adjustments and improvements, ensuring that the final product meets the company's rigorous quality standards. AI further enhances production optimization by improving scheduling, inventory management, and streamlining supply chain operations. Machine learning models play a crucial role in refining the production process and enhancing overall efficiency. AI-driven automation handles tasks such as cell assembly and testing with high precision and speed, reducing human error and increasing production throughput. Additionally, AI supports supply chain management by forecasting demand and optimizing inventory levels. This helps prevent delays, reduce costs, and ensure that production lines have the necessary materials and components for smooth operation. Despite significant progress, Tesla faces several challenges in boosting 4680 cell production. One major one is managing the supply chain for specialized raw materials used in battery production. To address this, Tesla's formed strategic partnerships and invested in raw material processing facilities. These efforts aim to ensure a stable supply of critical materials and reduce reliance reliance on external sources. Maintaining high quality standards is another challenge that Tesla addresses through ongoing technological improvements. Advances in electrode materials and battery chemistries play a huge role in driving 4680 battery technology forward. For example, improvements in electrode materials and electrolytes contribute to enhancing performance. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join your Tesla Car World community by subbing to our channel. Smash that notification bell and stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and God bless.